uh, I have kept a very interesting study for you uh, which will really help you understand how the switches work and uh, so for this activity I have as usual my light source that's a bulb a uh, battery holder with two batteries a couple of connecting wires one actual switch and a uh, L-shaped bracket and a copper plate which will which you know which I will use to create my own switch and help you understand that uh, how does a switch actually function uh, so for this activity what we will first do is we'll try and build the circuit with the help of regular switch and then we shall move on to the uh, switch with L-shaped L bracket and the copper wire so let's get started and what I'm going to do is I'm going to first uh, connect the two connecting wires to the uh, bulb holder so the connection with the bulb has been made now I'll go ahead and uh, at uh, you know uh, losing the two uh, screws uh, at, at the switch that we can see and uh, what I'll do is I'll connect the negative end uh, of the uh, battery holder which is this green wire and one of the ends of the bulb to the uh, lower uh, uh, lower uh, screw that you can see uh, at the switch and the positive end of the bulb holder along with the second connecting wire will go at the higher uh, you know screw of the switch so let's quickly do this so as you can see i have connected the battery holder and the bulb to the switch uh, as we had earlier stated and I am now going to turn the bulb uh, the switch over and now the switch is in the off position as you would normally know so I am going to quickly fix the two batteries here oh, sorry this was the off position so when I actually switch it on the bulb glows So now I'll explain this phenomena with the help of uh, the L-shaped bracket and the copper strip that we have here. Okay, so what I am now left with is uh, I've uh, kept the uh, the two connecting wires already connected to the uh, bulb holder, and uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to build a simple uh, you know series circuit where uh, we're going to connect one the negative end of the battery holder to the uh, to one of the connecting wires the positive end of the battery holder to the l-shaped bracket and the third end of the oh sorry the second end of the uh, 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 bulb holder and the, which is this connecting wire to the copper plate and then we are going to see how uh, does the switch actually function right so let's quickly get started uh, we're going to first connect the negative end of the bat battery holder to the bulb which is done I'm going to connect the positive end of the battery holder uh, to the L-shaped bracket and it's very simple all you need to do is loop it in so that it stays intact in its position and for the third connection that I need to make here what I'll probably do is I'll uh, connect. I'll put some use some tape so that uh, the this con this particular connection stays in place. So once I'm done with this, uh, my switch is ready. So I'm going to just place in the batteries quickly. And when I connect this see the bulb goes right so what is happening is the switch is in the off position right now and the moment I connect these two together the switch is in is, is, the switch is actually on and it starts working so this same principle works in a in an, in an electric switch 
So what happens is when the switch is in off position, the the, metal, the metallic part inside the switch is actually, you know, uh, disconnected. And when I switch it on, uh, you know, because of the switch moving inwards, the two metallic parts come into contact. Because of which the 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 circuit starts conducting electricity, and that's how a switch works. So you now know as to how your household switches work and I'm pretty sure you can explain the same phenomena to all your friends. So do try this activity at home and make sure that you have adult supervision while you're doing this. Thank you.